fight's on. Kidding. What's up guys, welcome back to Hobby Bolt and let's get started on this new Gundam. My main goal today is to finish the chest unit. It's also to check in on our broken pieces here to hopefully put the head back together after I put Tamiya cement on it. And I want to try and get the skirt unit done today. So at the very least we'll have the head, the chest, the skirt, not necessarily the shoulders because I'm not gonna lie, I am not a fan of doing arms. I hate doing arms, I'm good with legs, I hate doing arms, I love doing shoulders, but I hate doing arms. Like, I can't be the only one, which is funny, because my favorite day in the gym is arm day, but not on Gunpla. If you guys are just joining us, this is the MG1100 new Gundam, not the Burkha, so this is gonna be a little chonky boy, devoid of a lot of details, but ever so lovable. <laughs> I will say I have found quite a few lovers of this regular OG one and it makes me supremely happy. I just feel like he's way closer to the anime representation and it's just, it's an impressive kit. I'm excited to do it. So let's get into the building. Yes, build along with me if you can. Actually, a lot of you already build when you're watching my videos. So if I've been annoying you on your workbench, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's uh, try to put the head back on. If you did not watch my video yesterday, those two little white pieces right there basically failed when I tried to put the head back on the body and the PC joint ended up popping out of it and the head cannot go on top of the body. I am fairly confident in the bond that I got with the Tamiya cement and I think that I should be able to put the PC joint in and put this head back together. So let's start with that because that is turning a failure into a win. And we all need a little bit more of that. I have decided that I'm gonna buy the Verka decals, but I'm not completely decided on whether I'm gonna use the original decals for this or not. Here we go. We're gonna put this back in. It is actually back on. It's time to put on his Spartan helmet. And... <gasps> He's back together. He's back together again. Ooh, look at that. So... There's the PC joint right there, so we should be able to put it back in. Like, it's uh, it's very loose, it can come off really easily. It probably needs some glue, but again, I'm probably gonna be painting this kit and I don't want to glue it right now. So, we're just gonna take the head and we're gonna put it right back on the body. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. <gasps> okay, we're good, we're good, we made it, we made it. The head is now on, the head is on. Let's get started.
Okay, sorry guys, I'm literally running out of time. So all I was able to do is get the skirt and the rest of the chest piece done. Uh, one thing that I don't think I was able to really show accurately enough was there is a PC joint that goes inside the actual body right here that makes this move. I had to actually chisel it out to make it actually fit, but now that it fits, it's, it's snug, it's not moving, it's not going anywhere. And then on the other side, what was the other thing? Oh, <laughs> the issue I kept having was this little yellow piece right here. It literally, she just kept jumping out. It kept jumping out. I really should have should have glued it down. I ended up figuring out a way to do it, but this is all that I can actually get tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna go edit this footage and I'm gonna get a jump start on doing the pack and we're gonna do the pack and the shoulders tomorrow and then leave like the last couple of days for the funnels, the arms and the legs and I don't know, I'm super pleased with how it came out. I just, that is so cool. You can see the yellow parts here, everything, the red, it's, it's so cool. You saw the utilization of the actual metal piece that I have here as well. And you know what? Like, she's a little rough. She needs a little bit of extra care, but I, I'm happy, I'm happy with her and I can't wait to finish it. Ah, oh, this lighting is like crazy. Maybe I should just keep this lighting. What I'm going to be getting a head start on is this whole entire unit right here. This is going to be everything for the backpack. You can tell it's probably about two different layers of stuff that I'm gonna have to do. So the backpack is a little bit more intricate than I have time to do tonight, but I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm going to cut out the pieces after I'm done editing and uploading this video, and I'm looking forward to it. I think we're on track to get it finished by New Year. So thank you as always for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I'm so excited to have this little guy done. And yeah, thank you as always for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. I was totally anticipating things just not going right. Like that little yellow piece, usually when it clips into the groin area there, like it's good, it's done, it sticks, it's whatever. But this little guy was like, mm -mm, no, I'm not staying. And then, and then just furthermore, I just think it's crazy that I had to actually chisel this out to be able to get it to fit in. But can you see Amaro? Probably not. Oh no, I need better lighting. Yeah. But you know what? He's so cool. I'm looking forward to seeing him completely finished. How neat. Look at the high contrast on him. He's really cool. I also want to talk about like, look at how much his actual skirt moves out. Like that's pretty good posability. The detailing on it is actually really nice as well. It's just, it's just an overall nice looking kit and, and I'm looking forward to finishing it. Oh, I just want to talk about two. So right here on the head unit here, right here where his vents are. This is all supposed to be black. This is typically achieved with panel line pens or panel line paints. So we're gonna be addressing this and the different screws and things that are on its head later on in a future video. So definitely, if you're not subscribed, subscribe for sure. And we are going to be doing a lot more cool stuff with this guy in the future. Right now, we're just doing the best that we can.